Hi, my name is Medha Gupta and I was a 2017 Congressional App Challenge winner. I'm also currently a member of the Congressional App Challenge Alumni Advisory Board and I study computer science as a sophomore at New York University. My name is Dia Hichibali. I am from the state of California. Uh, my app that I'm going to be talking about today is Keep Me Safe and um, I'm part of District 19 and my member of Congress is Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren. That's amazing. Um, so first, I would love to hear a little bit more about Keep Me Safe. Do you mind like giving us a 30 second spiel about it? Of course. So Keep Me Safe is essentially a woman's app and it utilizes voice recognition and location tracking to help prevent sexual assault. So here's a basic rundown of how it works. Let's say there's a user who's just walking down a lonely road and she's feeling slightly unsafe, not the most confident. So she can choose to activate Keep Me Safe. And then if something quick happens to her and she can't react fast, all she really needs to do is say the word help. And what will happen is Keep Me Safe will send the user's location to 911 in a text message, and it'll also trigger a loud alarm to scare off whoever's bothering her in that moment. There's also a few other additional features where the woman can report sexual assault anonymously, as well as read about topics like self that's amazing, and I really appreciate that you made the app as a woman myself. Uh, so I'd love to hear a little bit more about the inspiration behind it and what prompted you to start creating this. Yeah, so um, as a young woman myself, I can't really take things safe for granted. And the type of people I really made this for are just for women or really anyone who's vulnerable to sexual assault because it's a huge problem in society, as you probably know. And the particular incident that really sparked me to create an app was actually my mom. She shared this news article about this girl from my city. She was 15 and she was abducted and raped by two men. And in order to get help, she had to go through this long process. She had to text her friends through Snapchat. From there, her friends tracked her location on Snapchat and then they notified the police. And by the time the friend actually got help, it was really late and a lot of like problems had already occurred. So this incident really disturbed me and especially because it was someone who was around my age and someone from my city. So it really like bothered me for a few days and I kept thinking that there has to be a more efficient way to get help in dangerous situations. You shouldn't have to go through like so many different avenues in order to just get the police to come on time. So from there, Keep Me Safe was born. Yeah, and I completely agree with you about that. So um, what kind of impact do you hope that Keep Me Safe brings to the world? And what kind of impact do you also hope to bring uh, for the future, for your future technology, um, like whatever apps you end up building? Yeah, so I really want to like make Keep Me Safe, just like create a world where women are able to just feel confident while going outside. They don't have to be like in fear constantly. And as for technology, there's so many exciting technology advancements, such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, and these have so many possibilities of addressing so many key societal issues, as well as just make our lives easier. For example, technology has such a wide possibility. It can help in like an early detection of diseases, solving world hunger through optimizing food distribution, as well as just enhancing our quality of life, such as automating our daily activities. And I'm really excited for the future to pursue technology as a career and make my contribution in solving these key world issues. Yeah, so how has winning the Congressional App Challenge and those resources encouraged you and uh, changed your outlook? Yeah, it was actually really exciting news and it really validated two main things for me. So one is, that there is a need for such an app, that like people, other people see the potential in having such an app and it's something that offers a lot of value. And this has actually inspired me to take Keep Me Safe further and like keep updating and keep working on the app so it can really help the people who need it. And the second thing that the Congressional App Challenge has inspired me is it has given me the confidence that I do have the app development skills to win such a competition against so many other strong competitors. And this has really given me like a lot of confidence in my skills and has given me more motivation to pursue computer science as well as technology throughout college and hopefully as a future career. That's amazing. So I'd love to hear a little bit more about your plans for future updates for Keep Me Safe. 
Yeah, so I really want to expand in terms of the features as well as the market that Keep Me Safe caters to. So one feature that has been really highly requested among like the beta testers is to be able to connect contacts that will be notified when you're in danger. So as of right now, um, all like Keep Me Safe contacts is 911, but if they're also able to contact your family and friends, that would be something that a lot of people see a lot of potential in having. And I also want to expand my user base. So right now I'm really looking at forming collaborations with high schools and universities, as well as anti-sexual assault organizations. Rain is like a very prominent one. And I've also like thought a lot about it. And I realized that there's so many like very specific segments of like women and people who feel unsafe, such as runners, a lot of like runners, like such as my mom does not really feel like that safe, like running alone, especially like in the evening time. So um, I'd like to embed Keep Me Safe into like already like popular running apps such as Nike Run Club, because I think just having that feature would inspire a lot more confidence for women and to be able to just go out about with their daily lives. Yeah, uh, that's amazing. So any last words that you'd like to say or any last points, anything? Um, not really. I just really want to thank you for having this opportunity available to so many students. It's such a great opportunity to meet with the Congresswoman and to have a platform to talk about your app as well as all these workshops coming up. So I'd really like to thank you guys for hosting such an event.